Hello everyone and welcome back to A Wandering Orc Plays Morrowind. Uh, what are we doing today? Today we are going to continue our temple run. Ha 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 TM, no, JK, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we're going to try to go on our pilgrimage. Uh, what does that entail? I think, honestly, I'm not sure. I probably shouldn't have jumped outside of the city because I think there's like docks that we have to go to in there. So yeah, we're in Saran today. I did finally get a new graphics card. Woo! And now it's like all smooth and pretty. There is like a slight lag, but apparently there's... Nothing I can do about that. That's just an effect of using this graphics card on older dude. Uh, oh. Living the dream, buddy. Living the dream. Uh, okay, so, yeah. So what do we gotta do? I think that's actually where we might wanna go. Let's check our journal here. They have some more deep. Oh no, not the journal, not the journal. We're gonna actually sit here on this pier and pull out a book. Pilgrim's Path. Also, it looks a little clearer to me. Maybe that's my imagination. I finally got around to picking up an HDMI cord from my monitor. Uh, don't judge me. Uh, yeah, it kind of took a while, but it does seem a bit crisper, a little bit clearer. I don't know if that'll show up on the video, but it's kind of it's kind of freaking me out, actually. I'm used to a little more aliasing in my games. So, uh, first of all, the fields of Kumu. It's uh, west of Saran on the north shore of Lake Amaya as you head towards... Pelagiad. Okay, so we do. We have to go outside of the city. I don't know if we want to jump in the water to get there, but the shrine is between two rocks and most easily noticed while traveling along the road. So we're going to give it a try here. Um, traveling towards Pelagiad. Sure, we can do that. I have missed Annalie, I tell you. Uh, it's definitely been... It's been hard without her. And the first thing that I got on, like I got on and I saw wine, saw it, and it was, it was great. It was like a reunion. So. Oh, hey, dude. Now I have to remember how to play, though, because it's been like two weeks. And this fellow has uh, very nicely volunteered. Man, does everything look really different? Is it my imagination? It really does uh, look kind of different to me. Hey, Kagooty Booty, what do you think? Are you a little crisper, a little cleaner? Is your contrast a little wilder? All right. So, continuing on. Over this bridge. Get ready for some sounds. No sounds? For the rickety bridge? Oh, okay. Alright, so heading toward Pelagiad. I think this is actually the way to Pelagiad. It's like on this road right here. Hmm. A bystander. Hello, mademoiselle. Drelora Salen. I feel like I've talked to her before, actually. I think she's just like a... A slave owner or something. Oh, hey! I didn't free you guys! Unjara. Ooh, your face is awesome. Forget I said anything. Uh, what are you doing here? Can you let Unjara go free? Yeah. Unjara cannot be freed without a key. Oh, Unjara. What do you think? Do you think she has it? Let's just uh, check it out, shall we? I like your butt rag. Oh, she has nothing. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh, look at all these guys. Am I not going to be able to free any of you? Go free. Not without a key. Okay, well, I will be back. Oh, yes. It's got to be that guy. It's got to be. No, it's not him either. Mm, I'm bad at this whole key finding business. Oh, something attacking me? Oh, no. It's just this guy. Kind of freaked me out there, man. All right. Ooh. All right, back on track. Jumping over plants. We're getting back into it. So now we're heading down the road. We are gonna... We're gonna find this shrine. Uh, we don't want to miss it. It's between, like, two rocks on this road, I think. Pelagiad. There we go. So heading north. Could it be... Now I'm gonna be checking, like, every nook and cranny. No! There's- oh, this is so pretty! Is this prettier than- than I remember? Okay. No, not that again. I did it again. Pilgrim's Path. Here we go. On the north shore of the Lake Amaya, as you head toward Pelagiad, I am really bad at directions, so let's give this another try. 
Adolf's farm nearby has a small dock on the north bank of Lake Amaya. This is the only dock nearby, which Adolf kindly allows the servants of the temple to use. Oh, I have actually uh, procured muck at the Balmora temple. I wanted to be as prepared as possible beforehand, so I went and talked to everybody in the temple uh, to see. Oh, I wonder if this is it. Is this Adolf's hut? Are you Adolf? You've got my ear. Let's for? hear it. No, Sturdicand, you are actually not who we're looking for. Is this like Amaya even? Wait a minute, do you have slaves? I thought you were like the dude who like frees them. Yeah, okay. So there's the little dock. Sturdicans farmhouse. All right, we're getting way off track here. Let's see if we can't get like turned around. Ooh, what's this place? What is this? <gasps> the Sandus ancestral tomb. We are going in. All right, we're quick saving. We're going to go in. We're just going to take a look around. Just a look around. Nothing crazy, you know. We're not super into grave robbing. It's just... Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Get our, uh, our comfort spell back out. Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder if he wouldn't have attacked me if I didn't attack him. Oh, no. That's definitely not the case. Come on, I'm, I'll take you all. I'll take you all on. I might die. I might die. Look, he forgot I was here. He has no no clue. All right, well, I'm going to take out one of the other guys that doesn't have a shield up. Go ahead, run. Run. <laughs> Bone Lord. There we go. This is so much easier when they don't have shield on. He's like, what? I was just walking around. I mean, look at me. Uh. Ooh, 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 can this skelly see me? Oh, man. I got critical damage. Who did I get critical? Oh, on this guy. Oh, he started freaking out. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's another one trying to come through the door. Do you see that? He's trying to give his buddy a hand. <laughs> like, literally. Oh, and he has that beautiful purple, lush Nordic beard going on. Um, I don't know why, uh, Nordic Beard, honestly, because, uh, we are in Vardenfell, unless this used to be populated by Nords or something, so maybe just, yeah, Dark Elf hair turns purple after death. Something like that. Punching you in the butt. Like, right in the butt. Again, we can, uh, now marvel at the crispness of his armor. I feel like the, uh, transparency maps and everything are working a little bit better but yeah oh getting back up no you are dead all right let's go find the other bone lord before we go find oh my god <gasps> corpse of a noble guard oh i'm gonna turn the effects down real quick because again oh yeah that always works really weirdly um okay so what do we got oh bone meal uh which actually I'm not that excited about. Uh, and key to Santa's tomb, which we are gonna take. But I'm gonna leave your bone meal on you, so. Uh, where's the other guy? There was another guy, where'd he go? Where did he, did I kill them both? I, oh, no, he's just, oh, he's just chilling. He's like, I, I thought maybe if I, if I just didn't do anything, you'd go away. Well, sorry, dude. Today is not your lucky day because Annalie uh, actually checked things for once. So, okay, you are down. I'm going to take your common soul gem. I'm going to take your bone meal, too, as sort of an insult, I suppose, even though you did try and I respect you for it. Let's get our light spell back out. All right, so we have a door. It just says door. Then we have this guy who's obviously, you know, excited to see us. So we're going to... Give him the opportunity. Oh, there we go. Now, before he gets his shield up, let's see if we can knock him down. He was so excited to come. Oh, you know what? Maybe he was just actually trying to get out. And I really hope that somebody in the comments can actually translate the Daedric that's on his belt. It probably says, like, out or something, since they tend to, like, repeat the Daedric in this game, but, you know. But, oh, look at that. Like, his uh, skirt kind of collapses into, like, honeycombs or something. There we go. I'll just dispose of his corpse and take everything. It's a little bit easier. Earn. All right. Scroll of Red Mind. Absorb intelligence. 20 to 40 points for 10 seconds on touch. We're going to take it just because. Uh, so we'll take that. Um, and we'll forget to use it probably. But we're going to take the expensive amulet. We're going to leave the apprentice's lockpick because we are far beyond that by now. Leave the gold because, again, 
Uh, oh, you know what? We're supposed to be pious now. I don't know if we're actually supposed to be um, raiding tombs. That's probably not the way to go. Scroll of Trinasa Spell Twist. Reflect 20 to 60% for 30 seconds on self. Yeah, we'll take it, but again, we'll probably forget to use it. There's never anything good in urns. I always try to check them anyway, but... Here we go, the good stuff. Licorice? Or Scrib Jerky? <gasps> I'm glad I raided this tomb. The heathens. What else you got? One gold. Nicely done. And a Nuberman. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh. It's that I suddenly feel quite cold. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm, I'm out of charges. Oh my god. All right, let's get our scrolls out. Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, what's happening? Oh, these guys are crazy. You suddenly feel quite cold. Why am I even here? All right, uh, we're gonna use... Uh, that's not gonna help us. Um, but what's the other one? All right, well, we're just gonna go for it. I'm terrified, but... Oh, look, he was kind of waiting, too. Oh! He has lovely teeth. So we're just gonna kind of hide in the corner and use this guy as a barrier. Oh, that's not really working. That's not really working. Oh, my light spell went up. Oh, but my unarmored's going up, so this is good for us. This is good. Come on, dude. I just need you to fall down. Just fall down. Fall down. Fall down, and then your buddy's gonna fall down. What do you think about that? Oh my god, what level are you guys? Is that a rude question to ask? I feel like that might be a little bit rude. Alright, time to take... Restore health superb. I'm a little nervous. I do not have many health potions. I have no idea what I did with them. Uh, whoops. Uh, what else do I got here? This soul gem has nothing in it, unfortunately, or else I could probably recharge my stuff. Um, I guess I could use, like, the ring of the hortator or something. What else? Uh, mentor's ring... Eh, yeah, what the heck. We may as well use some of our stuff. There's no reason not to. Let's see what we got. I can't remember any of my useful spells. I know that I have them, obviously, but... Alright, so I'm trying to remember which one I'm actually attacking here. I can't really use- I'm having a hard time like- oh my god. I- this is unexpected. I'm having a hard time like kind of getting around- oh yes! One is down! One is down! We can do this! We can do this! If we can get one down, we can get the other down! We might actually survive this encounter. Yeah, where? Nuh-uh. You stay. Yeah. On to the next guy. Man, these guys are crazy in like their samurai armor and- um, oh, do you see his decorated like loin piece? It's very impressive. I, if I get the chance, I will cast another light spell so that we can actually see what's going on here. All right. There we go, got him down. Got him down, oh. There we go, now we just focus. Now we just focus. Yes, and this might take a while, like taking these guys out. So first, let's see. At least we can do that so we can get like a shiny example of what these guys stand for here, what they represent here in this tomb. They're like, you came into our tomb, you stole our shit. Man, their swords look very cool. Like, have we seen those before? Are those just like pretty standard swords or... This guy's almost down. Oh, I wonder if they're like cold swords. Stupid! All right, so we got one down, on to the next. Yes, we are gonna take him out. So these guys weren't as bad as I thought. We only had to take one health potion. We really should stock back up on those. But hey, a pilgrimage can't be that dangerous, right? Unless you uh, happen to go meandering into tombs to not loot them, of course. Um, here we go. There we go. What do we got? We got a silver claymore. Um, that's not, I mean, I'm, but look how cool it looks down here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take it though. I'm not even going to take his bone meal. What, what do you got? I can't take their armor or anything, even though it looks sick. Uh, nope, nothing. Can't take any of that either. Okay. So let's see what's in this chest. 
Uh, I'm going to quick save it because we didn't do that before. I can't believe we survived that encounter. That's pretty exciting. So we are going to use some magic. And I actually think I have it. Speed float, levitate, water walking, hand to hand, fast foot. What do we got? I thought I had it. Do I fast foot on here twice? Oh, yeah. Command humanoid 10. Oh, that was what I used for uh, for wine sot. That's like from forever ago. Then it just goes back to my fist. So let's see if we can't pull out... On Ducey's open door. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Look at Gamble Putty looking fine. All right. What do we got here? Orcish Curas. Oh, my goodness. I am going to take that because it's pretty sweet. Orcish Helm. Very nice. This must be the armor that uh, those skellies were wearing. And then we have Orcish Left Bracer. Very exciting. And Orcish Right Bracer. So I'm sure that some orc will be very happy to buy this from me. Uh, Flynn. We're going to take it just because. And we are also going to take the 25 gold. Yeah, I'm taking everything. So, a nobleman's chest. We have unlocked a nobleman's chest. And that didn't have crap in it. And there's nothing in there either. So I guess we can... Ooh, is this a secret door? It kind of looks different, doesn't it? Well, I guess there's nothing there. I don't find a lot of secret... Ooh, ooh, can I... No? Okay. Kind of expected a secret door. There's not a lot of secret doors in Morrowind, uh, unlike its predecessor here. Um, unless I'm missing them. I mean, people can tell me. If I... Oh my god! That was terrifying. Let's get our light spell back out. Um, yeah, feel free to tell me if I'm, like, missing secret doors and stuff. Like, uh, I prefer not to have spoilers, but... Uh, just a sort of general, like, yes, there are secret doors, and yes, uh, Annalie, you are horrible at finding them. Uh, okay, so this one is just the skull room. We're not going to hang out in the skull room. We're going to ditch this joint. It was pretty fun to at least try out. Oh, is there more? Did we miss, like, oh, no. we, we Oh, what's that? Ew, common shirt. Disgusting. Fortify luck bargain. No. Mm. Come now. All right, so let's get out of here. Oh, bright daytime. So let's go back to not knowing where the hell we're going. Uh, so on, is this Lake Amaya? I suppose, probably. I think that we are still on the route to Pelagiad. I make no guarantees, honestly. I think I got turned around at some point. So yeah, I think we might be going the wrong way. Where are we at? World. Oh, the Fields of Kumu. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just kind of like loop around here. Uh, yeah, so the Fields of Kumu, just like in the story where uh, Vivek walked by and saw a struggling farmer and, you know, slaved and toiled to make sure that he helped him to gather his muck. Uh, I don't know why the, the Dunmer farmer was trying to gather muck. I guess it has its uses. It must, I suppose. Um, all right, we are getting closer, I feel like. Wow, this is so beautiful. Tis another lovely day in Vardenfell. Oh, oh no, I already did this. Uh, I think I actually found this guy. These two were traveling companions. Um, I can't even remember who I first talked to. Are you the one I brought back? I feel like you are. It's good to be away from those Kagudi booties, though they are really marvelous beasts. Did you notice the coloration? And the larger one was a real ripper. Oh, can I ask you about slavery? It's kind of off topic. Slavery is protected by law in Morrowind. Slavery is illegal throughout the Empire and considered barbaric. Blah, blah, blah. Ask about the Kagudi. Magnificent beasts, aren't they? Truly gorgeous creatures. Okay. Address Oril. And you. What is this Thornor? about? Hmm. Hello again. It'll be time to continue my travels soon. Okay, good. Enjoy that. Goodbye. Um, yeah, so I think that uh, blonde, elfy, bearded person asked me to... Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> oh, this is perfect! It's. Would you like to donate? Oh, no, I'm not going to do it just yet. We have to be right. Um, here in the fields of Kumu, Vivek acted as a beast of burden for a poor farmer who could not harvest muck sponge after his guar died. Yes, it's terrible. All right, so we have found the shrine. We are not going to, like, run up to it. Uh, we're going to walk up. And, like, kneel. Uh, or not sneak. And would you like to donate musk and ask for a blessing? Yes. Ah. Oh, 
My journal has been updated. The grace of humility. Thank you for your humility, Lord Vivek. I shall neither strut nor preen in vanity, but shall know and give thanks for my place in the greater world. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. No, no strutting. Um, I think I'm actually sneaking away. Am I? Yeah. See? I'm not- no strutting here. Just on my way. <sighs> nope. Don't mind me, Lord Vivek. I'll just go about my business. Yep. It's all good. Um, okay, so I think... We're just gonna stand here and admire- oh, I guess I probably could've harvested muck from... Uh, although that- that- that appears to be that crab's domain, actually. He's just kinda chillin', like... I hope nobody comes to take my muck. Everyone tries to take my muck around here. So, yeah, um... Wow, this is beautiful. So we're gonna end it here. We will continue our pilgrimage. I know we got a little bit sidetracked this time, but hey. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh my god, that's a Drew, isn't it? That's a Drew. Creeptastic.